What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Cards and Collectibles coming at you with a brand new video. How's everyone doing out there today in the YouTube universe? We're shooting this video. This is my experience that I had on Whatnot. I had the first live stream for my business on September the 6th. And I'm just going to give you guys a more in-depth reveal, review, and insight into my experience with this selling platform. If you don't already know, I had been doing live auctions for over two years on YouTube, end up stopping them due to things out of my control, just people not being interested and um, numbers going down and was staying away from doing live auctions. But I thought, well, maybe let me try this platform out. I've stayed away from whatnot for ever since it started. Uh, it didn't seem like it was a good platform for me with what I was doing. And I just stayed away from it. But I thought, well, let me give this a shot. So I created an account and immediately started working on uploading the inventory to the page here. So they have this thing called Seller Hub. And you can go in into this and it has everything right here. You can see it has everything broken down for you. But let's just go back. Let me show you how this inventory works. I'm going to discuss various things about this platform. Talk about the setup right now. We're going to talk about the payment methods as far as getting paid out on this platform. And then I'm going to talk about the performance of the platform and my thoughts on customer service. And then we're going to touch on some issues I have with trolls, which is to be expected on any sort of live stream or live selling platform. Okay, so click on this again, and let me just show you how the inventory works, how, how you can upload items. This is probably the best feature of the whole selling platform, in my opinion. So you come over here to inventory and you hit create product, and then you can populate all this information here. It's very simple, just like eBay. Same kind of breakdown, essentially. You can add the photos here. You can do it Mo, you know, through through your phone as well. I have all the images saved on my computer for all the uh, cards that we have for sale on the eBay store. So that was relatively easy just to, you know, search those files on my computer and then had the images already um, to upload. So that was simple. And you select category. And let's just see if they have, we can type in baseball cards, baseball singles. So you would click on that and then it populates it up in here in the recent category section. So you can just click on it the next time you add a new item you put the title in you put the description i just would put down like the general uh condition of the card the quantity and then you can fill out this this isn't required the rest of this stuff here but i was just putting the year basically um for each listing and then you go over here to select the pricing and you go to i was doing an auction so i have the starting bid price right here and then you can click on the shows and there's nothing listed here but it would list the the upcoming auction and then you would just click on that. And then the shipping profile. Do I have them in here? See, so, yeah, I can se select the weight. Now you can do standard envelope. And then they also offer, um, for this particular situation, I was working with uh, priority mail and also ground advantage. Those are my options. I decided to just go with ground advantage or, and or private mail for pe private mail, priority mail, excuse me, for people to, to use for this platform. I decided not to go with standard mail. Because it's the same kind of situation I, I'm with uh, that, that it's with with eBay, poor tracking, and I just didn't want to deal with anything like that. So, I worked on this for about five days. I didn't do it all obviously at one fell swoop. I would work on it a couple hours each day when I had time to upload the inventory, and I think I uploaded close to 250 pieces for this first live stream. So that wasn't too difficult. That was pretty simple. Then, uh, you know. Being that the auction was coming up, I wanted to make sure that I um, was buttoned up and there are some video tutorials. I don't think they're going to show up here. Uh, there's some video tutorials that you can watch that, that give you the general basics on, on, how, on how things work. I watched those and then I just watched some other streams to see how people were. But the last thing I needed to do was setting up um, the payment processing to get paid. And you do not get paid until the orders are actually delivered, which is fine. So there's a like there's definitely a delay. So don't expect to get paid like immediately. 
it says here three days, 72 hours after the order is delivered to the buyer. Um, I, you know, that's fine. Nothing you can do about that. And there is an early payout method, it says here, but you have to be, uh, I think you have to be eligible for that. So in order to also cash out, you can do it through PayPal, although that wasn't working on the app at all. I tried it multiple times. It would not like even load up for me. And so I ended up having to use this, this, uh, this situation here called Stripe. And I had to enter my bank information in there. And that was kind of a pain in the ass to do that just to make sure it was very, you know, verified and whatnot. And that took, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, something like that to finally get that to, to work. So there is that. So there is that other option if you want to use this thing called Stripe to get paid out. Now, let's talk about the performance of this platform as a whole. Let me go back here just so I can click on this so we can have something else to look at that's not behind the scenes stuff. And there we are. Okay, my experience was terrible. Um, I thought the platform performed poorly, extremely poorly. I started the stream about 10 minutes to 7, 6.50 roughly, just to kind of navigate through um, the system, the live system. And uh, I started the auction up a little bit early. I was noticing a few days before I started doing the live auction, you could click on the actual show it's called, and then you could go and see um, the you know the page where the live auction is going to be. And I was noticing that my inventory was looking completely out of order, and most there were about forty pieces missing that were listed in the inventory section behind the scenes, but not listed in the upcoming live auction. So that was already like a, a problem. That I had. Then once I started the live auction, it populated properly and put it in the correct order that I had it set up for. You can set it up for, you know, newest listing, latest listing. You can do it by, I believe, price or year or two as well. So I chose to obviously have it from the latest items that I had listed in the inventory to show up first each time you do an auction. Each time you do an item in the auction, excuse me. So that populated fine started the stream everything seemed to be okay i had to do everything by the phone because i couldn't do it via the computer and i'm assuming that's because i was on the mobile app and i couldn't have two things running at one time i thought that it would actually show the inventory on on the on the uh, on my computer but it didn't do that, so that was like an issue. I was constantly looking at my phone, and you know, you know what it's like when you're trying to look at your phone. It's much smaller screen than the computer, and things are flying around in that with the chat and everything else. So it was kind of a pain. And each time I had an item, I had to hit, hit start again on you know just by tapping the phone. It didn't really seem to affect you know the camera or nothing was bumping around anything like that. But what I did notice was some major glitches that were starting to go on. And it seemed like every two or three items, or perhaps every, if I let some time lag on, um, like say I was answering people's questions in the chat, it would revert back to the original list, you know, listing of the items from the most recent. And so I would have to then scroll down to where my last item was that I had, you know, available in the auction and start up all over again. And I must have done that at least 60 times, maybe even more. And uh, that caused some delays. And it was, you know, it, was, it just looks doesn't look very professional. So there were those glitches. Um, I noticed uh, some other camera issues, you know, it kicked it kicked out, it, it froze a few times. And the worst thing that happened was, um, oh, there were two bad things. There were about close to, like I said, I think 50, 40 to 50 items, I think, uh, were not part of the inventory list. I don't know how that happened because they were listed on the inventory list on the computer, on on, on this here, um, but they were not showing up once I went live. And then to top that all off, so I had to pull those items out of, out of the auction. I showed people what they you know could have been, and they were some good cards. Um, the last thing that happened, the major glitch was that at, at, at one point the auction just essentially all my items 
were not available the remaining items are not available to be included in the live stream i don't know if the server got overwhelmed i don't know what the story was there but i had to stop the auction um and that was disappointing so there i think there were probably about 30 items left and i couldn't upload any more you know start any more new items and that was it and i just ended the auction so it was not a, not a good situation i made a whopping 30 dollars on the auction the live stream auction which is piss poor a piss poor amount um when you consider how many hours i put into this whole thing you know uh two or three hours a day for five days roughly and then um this yes, two and almost two and a half hours of being on the live stream so it's really it was not very profitable for me and people to talk further about this thing um as soon as i started the live auction immediately people were asking me what was a giving away what was a giving away now i think i can set up, i could have set up something where i you know people could be part of a giveaway if they purchase things but that's all that people in the beginning seem to care about then you had uh, additional people coming in, bopping in and out so much. It was like their attention spans were not there. Um, I, I assume they were just curious to see. Maybe they recognized the name from YouTube. They wanted to see what was going on. Um, but the level, the attention level was like, you know, so low. And it has to be, I guess, expected with this kind of platform. Um and, and, and the age demographic is my guess. It just, that was disappointing. I think there were over like 300 views, uh, which meant that I think that that would mean 300, unless they allow multiple people coming in, you know, multiple times counting as views. Um, I would assume that there were maybe 300 individual people came in and out in that time frame. I think the highest I had at one point was only 10. I noted that in the first video too. So that was my experience with the platform. I thought it was really bad um, with all those problems. And next, I'm just going to talk about customer service. I thought that was really, that's poor. They've got no human being that you can talk to here by going on this, on this site. You have to uh, send an email. First, you have to go on this AI chat thing. I don't even know if I can get here on here. Um, I don't know if it'll allow me on this portion of it or if that's behind the scenes but there's like an ai chat that you have to go through and i was just putting keywords in like agent or you know supervisor or customer service or something and i think i finally got uh this that ai chat to like send me an email it was an ai generated email and then from there i had to send an email off to their customer service team because i was really concerned that these items weren't showing up um on the live stream list before I started and um, that it was all discombobulated out of order and everything else. So it was something that I needed to deal with and was trying to deal with the morning of and I couldn't reach anybody. I did get a reply back, but it was like the next day. So it was like, okay, there's no way if there's something that goes on, like all the issues that I, that I had during the live stream, there's no one to talk to. Um, and it seems to be like the case with these all these kind of newer selling platforms like this one and Shopify. Like they, there's like little human interaction. Like you can't get a person on the phone. Like as bad as eBay is, at least I know that if I need to get a hold of somebody, there's a way that I can do it, and I can actually speak to a person either through a call center that seems to be overseas or an occasional person in the United States. At least I know there that I can talk to somebody on this no no i mean I, I don't understand how you can have this kind of site and not have um an actual physical person to speak to it shouldn't be through email now i'm sure bigger breakers like this here backyard breaks and a few other ones that are on this platform um would be able to speak to somebody immediately because they're obviously tied in and, and i'm you know sponsorship and whatever else but someone new to the platform like myself or someone else um you know, there's no way. So that's it with my customer service portion of this. The last thing is just trolls. I mean, there were a couple. Uh, there was one idiot that tried to mirror one of one of my moderators um, from 
from before, and he was not smart enough to even remember the full <laughs> full tagline of the name and, and had all weird, and I noticed it and, and thought, you know, this is uh, not my moderator. And uh, eventually ended up booting him out because he made some started making some stupid comments. Other than that, you know, the typical so people talking. You know, that was fun to interact with people who recognized who I was and recognized the channel. And um, there weren't too many bad actors in, in, in the stream. So much less there than with YouTube. Um, but I did have to block a few people beforehand. And then one after uh, bad actors that were coming into the YouTube auction before. They were trying to, I think, the, the one... Uh, bad, really bad criminal actor <laughs> uh, was trying to like follow the follow the page um, before the uh, before the auction started. And I ended up blocking him. And there was one person after the fact who made some comments. Um, who I ended up blocking, uh, made comments on the YouTube video, the original one. I ended up blocking that person because they were someone I had blocked on on a long time ago and must have created a new account anyway so the, the troll element there were it wasn't that bad um and that's pretty much it i, I you know will i use this system again absolutely not I, I will not go back this it's not for me it's obviously gears as you can see here it's geared towards the, you know a younger crowd um it's just uh it's not for me at all if i do these auctions again i will definitely use youtube i have more control of it um, they're not going, to, you know, obviously it's my funds. It's going directly into PayPal. I'll have to pay out them the minimal percentage on just the transaction fee that happens there. But I won't have to pay out anybody else like this kind of selling platform. And, you know, they're taking at least 10%, if not higher, um, from from my earnings here, which was piddly, like I said, um, 30 bucks they took out three dollars it looks like so it just you know it's uh this won't be happening again so scores i wanted to give scores at the end here i've never done this before with scores but i'm going to i'm going to talk about let's see these are out of 10 one out of 10 i didn't want to give zeros but it is kind of harsh so like the setup i gave it a six the setup in general was 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 easy as far as the uploading the inventory, but then trying to navigate through and find just general information, that was difficult. It took some time. So a six of, out of ten there. Customer service, I give that a one out of ten. Uh, the platform as a whole, I'm giving it like a one out of ten. Uh, the payment processing setup and situation, I'm giving that a two out of ten because PayPal should work on this. It should be simple. I should be able to put my email address in. That's already been verified through PayPal. And then that that should be it. I shouldn't have to go through some whole new system that I've never used before that, you know, I get leery about these new financial systems. I don't know anything about them. Um, and so I give that a two out of 10 for that. And security, you know, I give it like a five out of 10. You have to have your own moderators. There's nobody really, you know, that you can tell that's moderating your, your stream. So you have to have your own moderators like you would say on a YouTube live stream. I give that a five out of 10 just because it was, you know, there were a few trolls in there and, and uh, it wasn't horrific and it wasn't great either though it wasn't you know so basically a 15 out of 50 which would give them a 30 percent out of 100 percent score which would be a major major fail again you guys can use this platform if you like i'm not trying to tell you not to use this or to use this you can make your own decisions but my experience was not good um and i i'm extremely disappointed with this and i will not be using this again uh it seems it's it's there's a childish element to it the, like I said, the attention span of people on here is like ridiculously low. Um, and, you know, I know that you have to have more live streams to build up your following and everything else like that. But um, it's just the kind of thing where I don't want to put that kind of work into something if there's not going to be somewhat of a reward at the end. So working as much as I did... I expected, I didn't expect to make thousands of dollars on this first live stream, but I thought, well, maybe I'll make, you know, 150 to 200 bucks based on the inventory. And I think I had close to $1,500 worth of inventory. So I was expecting, you know, maybe make 10% um, towards what the inventory was. And it did, you know, 30 bucks is just pitiful. The last thing I will say here that I probably should have put in maybe somewhere initially is, I don't know how many people saw this stream. I mean, there are obviously people saw it because they were coming in and out. I don't know where, how it populates on, on the, on the website. 
Uh, I didn't look because I was too busy trying to get through this. But, you know, they did give me like a measly $25 because I completed some tasks to, in order to promote the show. But I think the promotion was only, uh, it was either only in the hours I was given to promote the show or maybe only one day. So it's just like, otherwise you have to pay uh, to promote your show on this platform. So I, I don't know. It just It's just not a good platform for me. I, I don't know how long they're going to stay around for. Maybe they'll be around for a long time. Maybe they won't. Maybe they're going to crash and burn and um, at, at some point. But uh, they got to work on all these other things and get some human beings working there so you can actually speak to somebody. And you can see some of these, some of these streams have four people in there. Some have a little higher, but it, it just, you know. I feel bad for these people that have like one person and three people in and they were, I was watching these kind of streams all week and it just, you know, they seem so defeated, these people. And, um, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just not for me, not for me. And that's all I've got guys. Remember, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with your friends, who may love ones, or your base, your link is down below in the description. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Till next time, folks, this is John with John Sports. I was a collectible signing off and I will see everybody very, very soon. Take care.